Welcome back to the Sports Mix on Talk Radio, WRNR and TV 10. Colin McLaughlin alongside me, Dylan Bishop, as we're now joined on the phone line by the head coach of the Martinsburg boys basketball team, Dave Rogers. Coach Rogers, how's everything going? Hey, going great. Thank you for asking. It's good to hear as the basketball season a week or so away. Just tell us about how the off season was like and how the team's looking. Well, we, I think we had a great off season. Um, we were actually to actually able to take a an old room that has not been used and convert it into a, um, a weightlifting facility so that we have our own place that we can we can lift some weights. You know, basketball doesn't um, take a lot of room inside the weight room because we do a lot of things with heavy balls and and uh, ply boxes. So it, it it's been great. Um, very, very fortunate to have a, a, a great uh, coaching staff. You know, Marcellus Basie is now our assistant and does a wonderful job. And now Kip Shallis has joined our um, our staff uh, on that JV uh, area. So he is very knowledgeable. He's been a head coach before in Loudoun County. So I tell you what, our, our kids have worked very hard in the off season, And I think we, we finally have a, a nucleus after – um, after what we went through last year, we probably have a nucleus. I think that is going to uh, play a good brand of basketball, and there's a lot of good chemistry there. <laughs> Coach, when it comes to last year's team and coming into this season, what do you think is the main thing that you'd like to have carry over from last year and build upon going into this year? Well, you know, we kind of revamped. Uh, you're going to see a lot of new faces. Uh, we've had some guys that we thought we're going to end up coming back to us and one went to Florida and one went to Walkersville and you know it, it's it's amazing um, uh, to go from year to year because you really don't know um, you, you always there's always a surprise somewhere sometimes it's good sometimes it's not good but you know we we uh, we weren't able to uh, that was our first losing season in, in my term as 45 years at Martinsburg High School and that's uh that's something that's hard to swallow, and uh, you know, just we've we've really tried to rebuild it, and we've got some new faces in there, and I, I just I like what I see. I like our I like our intensity, um, and I like uh, I like what our uh, young men are doing. Since you're ma- mentioning some new faces, don't want to fully put you on the spot, but uh, I guess do your best in telling us who some of those new faces are to the program this year. Well, you know, you've got some guys that played a little bit. You know, Anthony Awuna was on our JV team and dressed a little bit. He's about 6'4 now. Um, uh, Zion Adjimandua is about 6'5 now, doing a real good job. You've got Jeremy White is a sophomore, about 6'5. So those are our bigs. And, uh, you know, I think our strength is going to be at that guard spot. Uh, we're really pleased with Matt Robinson and how he's playing right now, and he'll be a senior. We won't have a lot of seniors, maybe one or two. Jackson Steen uh, will, is in there a good bit, and um, you're going to you're going to see. Uh, I think the improvement um, with Matt Robinson as a shooter. We like what Kyrie Bunny is doing. He's uh, when we get him off the football team and Chase Shipley. Uh, so they're all coming back, and then you've added Josiah King, who's uh, who's uh, very quick with his hands and very heady, goes makes some nice passes, and uh, I think uh, Keyshawn Cheeks uh, really adds a lot to us with his um, physicalness and his uh, ability to handle the basketball and get to the rim. How has it gone so far in these? preseason leading up to the season in terms of identifying the strengths of this team what are those strengths in your mind and what and when it comes to identifying a, an identity for this team what do you think that's going to be well i don't think there's any question that our identity and our strength is going to be in the guard position um but we've got to be able to press 94 feet uh you got to be able to pick them up when they get off the bus and don't let them down to the horn rings and um, you know, I think that's our, our strength. And of course, you know, again, we're, we've got such an outstanding football program that we don't get our football players till next Monday. And then we play Saturday. Um, all the other schools in the area have had their players for at least two weeks and some 
three weeks, I'm within four weeks. And so it, it, it you're kind of going back and reteaching. You know, it's, if anybody has coached and you don't have your whole team there when you start and you have to bring them in pieces, it, it's very tough. And that's kind of a lot of times why we get off to some slow starts. So, you know, we, we, uh, those kids will be ready to go. They'll come off of one sport right into another and they'll be ready to go. Uh, because they are athletes, and uh, they'll do a great job for us, and we're really looking forward to having them. And in the meantime, you know, we we've, we've kept our core of six or seven uh, together. That's uh, worked hard, and and we'll uh, we'll go from there. With that being said, you've done this for plenty of years. How do you, I guess, or what do you do to do your best to make sure there's not a slow start for your team? Well. You know, the, uh, even even the players that are in other sports, um, if you're a basketball player, you're not practicing, but certainly you somewhere down those arms, you've kept a ball in your hand so that you can shoot the basketball because it doesn't take much to do that. It's kind of fun to go in the gym sometimes by yourself and just shoot. But, you know, we just, uh, you know, we'll blend them uh, as they come back in. We'll. They'll actually have five days, which is the minimum time that they, they have to be there Monday. Um, and then they get five practices in, and we play Saturday. We play um, Western Albemarle up at Hanley in the showcase. And um, Western Albemarle out of Charlottesville, uh, very good. Uh, six seven six 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 six, and I worry about their height inside. And, and But they're they're just well, we're well drilled, and it's going to be an excellent ball game. So... You know, it'll it'll work its way out. Then we don't play again until the 18th. So that'll give us another week or 10 days to be able to get those guys back on board. And and I, and I think everybody knows the the uh, the biggest thing is is um, is the running part of it. Um, you know, you've got to you've got to be able to get up and down the floor, and it's going to take some time for those guys to build stamina. But they will uh, because they're athletes. And then there's other guys that. I can give you the name of Ronnie Harmon. I mean, uh, Grant Harmon. Ronnie's his dad, played for me also. Grant came off the football field right onto the basketball court and never missed a beat. Right off the basketball into baseball, never missed a beat. Some kids can do that. And so I think we've got kids that can do that. And, you know, we just, uh, we just like their success they're having. And, and we look forward to having those guys with us. And as as you mentioned, being the basketball coach at a school that's known for football and has this football championship dynasty, you have that access to a bunch of athletes that may not necessarily be known as basketball players or think of themselves as basketball players. How often do you, you know, watch the football team and then identify players that, you know, this guy needs to come out and play basketball for me and you go and find him and, and ask him or tell him, say, hey, you need to come try out for my team. And how often do you actually get those guys to, to be able to do that? Well, you'll pick up a few here and there. And I mean, we're hearing some names of some guys that, that we think are coming out. We thought they were coming out last year. You know, we're really, uh, we really like Rashad Reed. Um, you know, Rashad, uh, played basketball for the first time last year, and uh, my guys during the when he was he worked so hard, and uh, he was uh, it, I think basketball really improved, improved his foot speed, and he was in such great physical shape. Uh, and and he uh, the thing I like about him is when he sets a screen, it's it's he sets a nice screen. So you know Rashad will give us the minutes inside. He's not real tall, but boy, he is a a hustler and a great athlete. So we're, you know, and then we've got three or four that we've mentioned that, that, that will be there that have played for us. And then we're hearing some names that, that may be coming. And again, you, you just don't know who's coming and who's leaving. And, and once we get our team picked, then we'll be just fine. So we're joined on the phone line by the head coach of the Martinsburg boys basketball team, Dave Rogers. Let's now take a look at the conference Coach Rogers, and just get your thoughts on how things might uh, shape up what you've seen from the other five schools early on or what you've heard. Well, uh, if people in this area like good basketball, I think you're going to see it this year because this is about the, this is a, this is a great conference. The EPAC conference this year, I think, is is so I think every team. I think every team in our EPAC is uh, 
is going to do a great job. You know, I don't think there's any question that Spring Mills um, is blessed with a lot of talented players. Um, Kedgesville will be right there. Uh, they've got two or three nice players, four players back. Mosselman's got everyone back. Um, I think the uh, Ryan Miller, I think Ryan down at Washington High will do a an outstanding job. He's coming from the middle school program, and and so he'll do good. And then Jefferson is Jefferson. They've got speed. They've got athletes, and and you look at them, you say, well, they're okay. Well, they're better than okay. And now that the Jenkins boy has come back from Garetti um, to jo- rejoin them, is really going to make them even a lot stronger. So, you know, it's just um, it, it's just going to be. A dog fight every night. You're not ever going to go into one of the EPAC games from anyone and, and count it as a win because it's going to be tough. And before we let you go, Coach, I, we just had Coach Ronnie Fitzpatrick on and asked him, I was curious, when he wants to unwind from coaching, uh, what is it that he likes to do? And it, funny enough, his answer was more basketball because of his daughter's. But I was I'm curious, what does Coach Walk, uh, what does Coach Rogers do when he wants to unwind, step away from coaching a bit? Is it mo- more basketball, or do you get away from basketball? Well, I think it's basketball all the time. Uh, the in fact, we were in Harrisonburg last night, Virginia scouting, and um, you know, and then and then during the day, I like to do things around the house. I was in fact, I was just down in the shed doing some work and got a little workshop down there, and I enjoy that. Enjoy spending time with my family, and uh, sometimes we'll just, uh, my wife and I will just get up and go to breakfast and spend the day together before we go to practice. So, you know, it, you, you got to you gotta put all those pieces together. And, uh, but, uh, you know, it, and when it's basketball season, it's time for basketball, and uh, we've got to get ready to go, and everybody jumps in and enjoys it. All righty, Coach Rogers, appreciate the time, and we'll see you guys on December 11th for your first uh, home game against Heritage. Uh, that game is no longer being played. Well, there we go. So we have our so answer. I'll tell you up ahead of time, I'll tell you what, we, somehow we got to mix up in the schedule, so we're not on their schedule, so we're not playing that. Um, and then we tried to replace them with another team, and we thought we had another team, and then they just – called and said no we can't do it so um we're 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 actually we're actually two games down um it gets tougher and tougher to find games all the time and um you know we go to we actually go to charleston this year at west virginia state and we'll play gw and capital and i think everybody understands how good gw is and is going to be when you got six seven more transfers coming in this year it's a, it's a different ball game too and so you know it's it's um uh, it's going to be a good schedule as always, and uh, we'll uh, we'll stay in there and we'll battle every game. All righty, appreciate it, and we'll catch up with you later on this year. Okay, fellas, thank you, and have a great day.